hello welcome to my channel life of yana so today i'm going to do some beads with purple and like a brownish color so i'm going to finish this up oh jeez i can't get this angle right let me see okay i hope you can see it so i'm going to do two strings at once with this as well i'm a little bit tired today because i worked an hour before work and then an hour after work so i'm a little bit tired let's see make sure i get this right don't want it to get all twisted okay also let me show you what i did as well So I was working on my beetalon and I did this bracelet. I'm just waiting for the shank button so I can button it up. So I learned this. Here's this bead bracelet. These are all um, wood beads. How do you like this? leather at the end i like this design i did this on the beetle on and then i did this one as well on the beetle on it's a different design though again i'm waiting for this shank button so i could tie it up this one's a little bit smaller though so maybe this would be for a little kid i wasn't counting when i was doing this Here's that one. What do you think of this style? So there's that new style. Here's this one. Which one do you like better? So that's what I'm going to do. And then for this one, I'm going to like put some bangles down here um, like some charm type deals but I'm going to make them because I'm getting this one tool that I can make my own designs of whatever I want it to be you know like um, like a I don't know let's just say for instance like I can make a heart on there diamonds I can make a little doggy to hang there or a music sign. So there's all kinds of stuff that I can make. <laughs> this isn't working either. I bought, I bought some, let me open this. Gold wire. And that's 22 gauge so this is good it's not going to break or anything like that so whatever i make with this is going to last a long time and then i also bought silver as well and this one is also 22 gauge and again whatever i make with this metal it's not going to break. It's going to hold forever. So that's what I'm doing. But I'm waiting for some other tools to come through. And then that bracelet that I was doing with that jute cord. Where's my bracelet? I'm going to finish it and then put some dangles in there. I'm not going to put the knots in there. I'm just going to put some dangles in there as well dangles that I make so I'm pretty sure it's going to be really pretty so let me cut this off <laughs> wow I don't have my <laughs> my scissors because they're holding this tripod because it's top heavy for some reason my man these are dull now they won't even clip anything okay there we go um 
because my camera is top heavy the tripod it doesn't expand well it doesn't expand enough so the top heaviness definitely makes the camera fall I hope it doesn't do that this time so I'm just going to beat this both at once Because you know you have to put two strings in here to make it last. Why don't you know I need my scissors and I don't have my scissors. Well let's try this tool again. Because I don't know why it's not sharp. It used to be sharp when I first got it. But now, now it's not. I don't know why. It's just not. And it frays the ends which make it hard. Which makes it hard. To put the bead in here and then of course I ran out of my needles which would this would definitely be easier with the needles too and so those are on the way too so all this stuff that I ran out of that I'm waiting for oh my goodness so I just didn't buy a lot at first because I didn't know if I was going to really like this you know doing bracelets so I didn't want to invest a lot of money into it right away i was just wanting to see first of all if i would actually like it i do i love it it relaxes me after work see look at that it frayed look at that Ugh. look at that two pieces on there jesus that's what makes it hard to let me see if i could try cutting that again let's hope it doesn't fray Okay. Okay. But this bracelet is going to be really pretty. I'm already excited about it. Okay, so now. Uh oh. Row, row. <laughs> oh no. Let me just see something here. You know, because I dropped the tray, so. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I don't think I should have put these in yet. I don't think so. Well. Okay, so. Got those in there. Let's put these. Other ones in. I'm gonna cut this. Maybe I could put them both in at the same time. When I first started this, I did not know that I had to double the strings up. I didn't know. So this is a learning experience. So I got to go back and put double wire in all the other ones that I did with wire. Just to make them stronger so they can last longer. So that's something I got to look forward to. That's all right. I, I can do it. So I'm not going to put them out there without doing it correctly so I already separated all the ones that I did um, correctly versus the ones that I have to fix so there's a lot of fixing that I have to do and maybe I'll put it on maybe I'll film it maybe I won't but let me show you another one that I have to fix because this one, remember this one that I was talking about? It is so small. So I'm going to add some more turquoise in here. You know, and then I'm going to make the chains. Because this is too small. I, don't, I think it's too pretty to be too small. So I'm going to fix this one too. I'm going to fix it. Here it is. I'm going to fix this, make it bigger. Because it's too small and I don't like it.
being too small. So I'm going to fix that one. I'm going to add more turquoise and of course I have to add more of the wire to make the make the hoops. Okay, so let's continue on with this project. This project right here. Yesterday it stormed and it rained a lot. I mean, it was scary. I don't like the storms. I mean, they didn't used to bother me until I moved here to Texas. Okay, so I got the time-consuming little beads in there. But anyway, I was saying that um, the thunderstorms didn't used to bother me since but since I moved from Colorado to Texas, their storms here are different. They're more lightning storms than thunderstorms. So the lightning is bad too. And then there's some transformers in the backyard, actually just outside the backyard. Every time it, it lightning storms, they always get hit, they blow, they start on fire. And it's a loud crackling noise. I mean, you can hear it. it big old boom it's pretty scary so <laughs> that's when I started getting scared of the lightning storms because the lightning storms in Denver we don't really at least when I was there to 30 years I don't remember really having lightning storms it was mainly like thunderstorms regular thunderstorms but not lightning storms here in this part of Texas where I'm at man I don't know what it is but the lightning it's scary. It, we have so many lightning storms here, and I don't know why. But that's when I became afraid of the thunderstorms, because they're not thunderstorms, they're lightning storms. And that's what happens. <laughs> My grandkids, you should see them too. They start screaming and crying and oh my land <laughs> of course when that happens if we're if i'm alone with them i have to be all brave and everything and calm them down and say it's okay block all the windows out oh my land it's crazy so i also learned something new about glue about jewelry glue Jewelry glue, oh, this did not stay like I want it to. So let me explain the glue. So I bought glue, this glue, jewelry metal glue. But look, I can't even open it. Oh, Jesus. Right there where I was supposed to put the tube, it's all blocked up. And I can't even open it. It won't even open. So it's basically useless. I could throw it away. So then I bought another tube. I think I might have thrown that one away too already. It won't open, but I found this glue, this GS Hypo Cement. Oh man, this is excellent. It won't get stuck. It's got its own needle there and the point is so thin. You could get really thin, um, like you won't make a mess with your stuff. And it doesn't get stuck. This will not get stuck. So you can use this over and over and over. You won't waste your money. So I recommend this glue. So let me tie this because this didn't work out the way I wanted it to. So let's take the knot out. I should just tie it one on one, one by one. Okay, let's tie it one by one. I don't want to lose my, I don't want to lose my beads out of here though. Let's tie this, clip this. I 
I've got some more scissors on the way too. I mean, you know, some more of these um, cutting scissors because this one, I don't know what happened to it. It just doesn't want to work anymore. So let's make individual ties here. Also, another thing that I learned since I've been doing this for a few weeks, um, I learned before you use the stretchy string on beads, you should stretch the string. I didn't know that. So, otherwise what's going to happen is if you don't stretch it, the beads are going to get heavy on it and then it's going to stretch and then it's going to show, um, show the wire. I mean, not the wire, but the the string, it's gonna show the string. So, it's another thing I learned. So. I don't know why this is not tying right. So, I've learned a few things doing this already. See, and then I'm gonna make some, some stuff to hang right here because they're so expensive to buy, but I bought this tool and it's, it, you know, I've been practicing on this other wire that I have. Or is it? Oh, there it is. This wire that I have, but I'm almost out of this wire. This is also good wire because it's 24 gauge. So I've been practicing as well. I don't know why I'm having a hard time with this. I know why, because I'm tired. I'm tired, you can hear it in my voice. I talk all day on the phone, so by the time, by the time it's time for me to get off, I don't really want to talk. <laughs> I want to take a break, which normally I do, except for today. Ouch, that, that really hurt, that popped me. All right, so anyway, I've learned some things already making bracelets. So, come on, look at, look at how frayed this is. It's all frayed. I'm just trying it on. I did buy this thing here. Like it, it tells you how big it is, how big your uh, bracelet is. So the general size is seven inches. That's that's really how people make them to be seven inches. So um, you can make them smaller if you want. Or you can make them bigger, you know, because people have different sizes of wrist. So some people, like my friend Leona, her wrist is not a size seven. It's more like an eight, eight and a half. So kind of make a lot of different sized bracelets. Okay, you know what, what, what I'm going to do with this one because it doesn't want to really tie like I want it to. I'm going to use this cement glue. My friend here, now that I found it. I'm going to put some glue on here. That way the knot could stay. I'm gonna let it set, and then I'll cut the strings off. All right, I love this glue. So this is it. And then when I get my other tool that I'm waiting for and make the dangly things, I will show you this bracelet. So, 
that's what I'm going to do. So in the meantime, I'm going to say good night. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment to my channel. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye.